You know, if you're living in Florida and then you have to go to Barcelona, Spain and back and all the travel and all that stuff, just the travel, we're talking about some serious money here. And, and let's face it, uh, unless if you're like really up there in the military ranks, you're not making a lot of money. So how does this, how is it, how, how can it be affordable? Or maybe it's not. I mean, let's address that question. If somebody is trying to get a hold of you and they're not going to call you because they're like, I just can't afford it. Is that advisable or no? I think they should still call me, even if they know it's going to be expensive. The reality is hiring a civilian defense attorney to travel literally half around the world, it can get very expensive. The travel alone is expensive. I mean, if we're talking about going from Tampa to Seoul or Tampa out to or anywhere of CONUS for a week or two weeks, I mean, you can be, that can be ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 worth of travel alone. And you have to remember that travel expenses are always on top of the legal fees because there's two pots of money, right? There's the fees that you pay our law firm to do the services we do. And maybe we need to travel, maybe we don't. The second pot of money, what happens is you need to pay that as you go or put it in our client trust account. And, and we draw down on that as we have the expenses. But, but the travel can be very expensive. So, but the first question, if you, if you don't think you can afford it, you can still give me a call because I always promise that I'm going to make sure that you leave that consultation call in a better position than when you started. That I'm not here, I'm, not, I'm no longer in a position, at least in my career, been doing this long enough. I necessarily have to do this anymore, right? I, just, I love it. I enjoy the hell out of this, but this isn't just a money-making operation for me. I do it because I still love doing it. So if you've got a real problem, there's no way I could ever afford this. Still give me a call. If nothing else, we get on my calendar. I'll walk you through it. Let's figure out what this looks like. And, and my, my promise to everyone is I'm going to make sure you leave that call with more knowledge than what you started with. Uh, and that happens all the time. I mean, that's kind of my way. I don't want to say giving back because it just sounds so cheesy. But there are a lot of service members who just can't afford these services. But you know, literally half an hour of my time can do them a world of good in terms of pointing them in the right direction. That's the first piece of it. The second piece of it is, if with the expenses, yes, a PFC is not going to be making oftentimes enough money to cover forty, fifty thousand dollars of legal fees. They're not. But there is some financing that is available. Uh, our law firm can set you up with some financing. It's not through our law firm because we're not allowed to do financing for clients. But we can set that up usually for amounts of under $20,000. And we can have services. We can outsource that to. Again, that has nothing to do with us. But we've partnered with some people. LawPay is the company that we like to use. And they're very good about financing legal fees for you know whatever, smaller amounts under $20,000. Uh, above that, clients often turn to family. Um, whether they have, what, you know, they have other assets they may be able to tap. I try to leave that with the clients themselves, right? Because, you know, often there's all, whether there's a will, there's a way oftentimes, like I say, with inflation and, you know, they say it's 9%, it's probably 18%. I just went to Publix and got some fried chicken. It was like, you know, $11 for a little thing of Publix chicken, right? And so the world has become very expensive. You go out and try to buy a Honda Civic these days, and a Honda Civic's cost you $30,000, $35,000. It's just nuts how expensive the world has become. And no different with legal services, right? Because this is 100, 200 uh, hours, but different than Publix Chicken or different certainly than a, the Honda Civic. This is really your freedom. And which is why I said early on, or I've said many times, in small cases, start with the, the Defense Service Office or the Trial Defense Service, because there's a lot of things that they can do very well for you and help you out. But now if we're elevating this and we're talking about, I'm going to prison for 10 years. I may be going to prison for 15 or 20 years. Uh, you know, I was falsely accused. Now I may be a sex offender. My life is destroyed. We start putting that in the context. And then what I always say is, what's the cost of doing nothing, right? What is the cost of doing nothing? And weigh that against the cost of, of any type of high-end legal services. And then you have to make the decision about how you want to allocate the financial resources that you have or you have access to. And so that's really the piece of it. And so if there's a client that is a really good fit for my law firm, and I just did this, I think about a week ago, actually. I had a client who was a really good fit for our firm. He desperately needed our help, and I knew I could help him. I, I knew I could. He was very short on money, so we structured it. You know, I, I walked him through some ways where he can get funding. There was some public funding available. There was some credit that was available. And I know that this case of his, I'm not going to say the name or the case because it's, it's really ongoing, this is probably going to be 13 to 15 months by the time. It's a very complex case. And so I said, okay, you may not have the X amount of dollars now, but let's structure this, right? Let, let's structure this so that, you know, as long as we're paid in full before your trial is, I'm okay with it. And so I worked with that client. Uh, we talked with his family, we went through different funding sources. He was able to make that happen. And we're confident that we're going to make sure that he gets the benefit of that. And I'm going to do everything within my freaking power to make sure he doesn't end up in prison because he's got a, 
a really young family that is just going to get devastated if he does. So that's something that we can talk about too, but you don't know unless you give me a call or give an attorney a call and try to figure that out. 